obnoxious person right now. Katie, you're just a bitch to me all the time. You can't be real for one second, Kristen. Um, I think it's just been something that's ongoing between them for so many years that they just wanted to take a break and try to like see, like sit back and see like, oh, is this friendship something that we actually need to do? Because it came to the point where they were fighting every single time we were together. So no, I don't want them to be fighting. No, I don't want them to take a break. But at the end of the day, it's probably the best thing for them so that they can even see if they can make this friendship work in the future. I think they're both right and they're both wrong. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, what Kristen kind of did with this whole Carter situation over the whole summer kind of took a really, it took a lot out of everybody because it was such a long thing and she kind of dragged us all through it. And then to come to find out, well, you'll see, but I come to find no, out. No, don't talk, don't say that. What? You're going to tell spoilers. I'm not telling the spoiler. <laughs> I already know what's coming. I would never that, but you'll see what happens after. Like, <laughs> I wasn't, wasn't giving away any spoilers. But you'll see, it just took a lot out of our whole summer, and you'll see why. But um, everybody gets frustrated, you know, and I think, like, like everybody else, everyone's growing apart, you know, and doing their own thing. So Not everybody. I still love Kristen. I still love Katie and no. Saucy. I'm still super close to all of them. Well, but people are doing their own things. Yeah. People are I just to, hang out with them. Businesses. People are starting to kind of, we're getting older. It's been 10 years. We're not going to hang around every single all day every day so people are starting their businesses people are doing their own things yeah but I just yeah I just want oh it's so it's hard whenever I hang out with all them so much I have to do it separately now you know we can't just all be together so I think that's like the worst part about it all do you think they will reconnect the three of them um I mean there's been some like talking here and there and stuff like which is better than it used to be so I still have hope that they can make it work like that like just like Tom and Jax I was really pushing for them to be friends again and trying to like help smooth that over because they were friends for so long and I kind of feel the same way about Katie Saucy and Kristen I just can't imagine them not being friends again right because we have Saucy's wedding coming yeah so hopefully they can reconnect that yeah we'll see I don't think so We'll see. I know Saucy did say she's not going to no. be a bridesmaid. Oh, I, I, I don't think that that would be able to happen right now, but hopefully something will happen where she can at least be there. I don't know. We'll see. It's up to like, Saucy no, at the end. Like, no, no, no. I'm, I'm it's up to Saucy list. and Bo at the I, end of the day. I, I, we're kind of a yin and a yang. Yeah, we <laughs> are. She thinks everything's going to be rainbows and butterflies. I'm a realist. No, it's not. <laughs> Why? It's Why just not. That? I think because this has happened many, many, many times, and I think this is the final straw. This is this whole fighting thing. This has happened even before she was around. They well, yeah, that's what off, I mean. They've off. been. And I think Katie and, and Stassi now have gotten older, and they're just starting to realize like this is not worth it anymore because it's a constant battle to be friends with Kristen and vice versa. I mean, they're, nobody's right, nobody's wrong. They're just all so hard, like hard-headed and stubborn, and they just conflict. Great. I mean, really, nothing really has changed. I feel like I'm more responsible now for her. And I have like I have a title, and you know, I'm responsible for my wife now. But I don't think it's really changed much. Have you? Do you? Just I always say that it just feels like family. You know, just a more like family. We want to start a family. We want to, you know, we're starting something together. So I think that that's really the only difference. Other than that, we've moved together, like moved in together since we were dating for like two and a half months. So <laughs> we're kind of used to the living together and all that aspect by now. Yeah. But definitely, we're definitely a lot stronger and a lot, you know, tighter bond, I'd say. Do you right? have any plans for yeah. the future for baby? Oh, for sure. We're very we're just, honest and open about that. We can't we're wait just to have kids. We're kind of juggling some weddings right now. So we have Lala's <laughs> wedding, we have Stassi's wedding. So we're kind of just trying to juggle that. Um, to make it where it makes sense so she can actually travel. And yeah, I don't like I, I've said this a bunch because a lot of people went after Saucy whenever I did Watch What Happens Live and talked about how I was trying to like make sure I could still go to her wedding and then people were like almost attacking her like it was her fault we weren't pregnant yet. And I was like, no, 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 let me make this clear. We just wanted to wait until I so want she could to be, go and enjoy yeah, herself. I don't care to be pregnant, I just want to be able to travel to Italy <laughs> to right. actually make it to my friend's wedding. So I found out from uh, an interview we, earlier that it's seven months that you can't travel. So <laughs> I mean, could you imagine being like that pregnant when you're in Italy? Like, yeah, I mean, I it'd be not. hard. It'd be miserable. You'd be yeah. miserable. You can't drink. You can't do anything. You're about ready to pop. Yeah. You're not gonna have fun, and especially because you're, you're in the wedding. Fun. And you're in the wedding. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it's yeah, it would be tough. But I don't care to be pregnant. <laughs> I mean, and I told her too. Stuff's always gonna come up. It's always gonna come up. Yeah. So. So maybe baby 2021. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Or maybe before. I don't know. We'll see.